التي بات يحظى بها عالميا اذا في البدايه انا اعطي كلمه للسيد احمد غزلان الكاتب العام للجامعه الملكه المغربيه لالعاب قوى تفضل الاستاذ سيدات والسادة ممثلو الصحافة الوطنية والدولية السيدات والسادة الأبطال العالميين حضرات السيدات والسادة يسعدني غاية السعادة أن أرحب بكم جميعا باسم لجنة التنظيم المحلية للنسخة الثانية عشرة للملتقى الدولي محمد السادس الذي يستضيف هذه السنة نخبة متميزة من الأبطال الأولمبيين والعالميين يشكلون طبقا تقنيا استثنائيا يبعث على الإطارة والتشويق ويقدم فرجة رياضية رائعة لكل المتتبعين الشغوفين بهذه الرياضة بمدرجات المجمع الرياضي الأمير مولاي عبد الله الذي سيكون كالعادة غاصا بالجماهير والذي سيعمل على تأتيت هذا العرس الرياضي الكبير والانتشاء بتألق الأبطال العالميين والأمل معقود في أن ترقى هذه الدورة إلى ما تطمح إليه لجنة التنظيم المحلية من تحقيق أرقام قياسية جديدة للملتقى ولملتقيات العصبة الماسية ولملا أرقام قياسية عالمية وتتمنى لجنة التنظيم المحلية لكافة الأبطال العالميين المنتمين إلى أزيد من خمسين بلدا يمثلون القارات الخمس مقاما سعيدا بالمملكة المغربية ومنافسة رياضية تروم التألق وإشعاع وتنمية ألعاب القوى العالمية وستخصص وقائع هذه الندوة الصحفية لتقديم نخبة من الأبطال العالميين من العيار الثقيل وإعطائهم الكلمة للتعبير عما يختلجهم من أحاسيس بالمشاركة في هذا الملتقى الرياضي العالمي والكشف والإعراب عن الإنجازات التي يعتزمون تحقيقها والأهداف التي يرمون بلغها شكرا على حسن الإصغاء والمتابعة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله شكرا للسيد احمد غزلان الكاتب العام للجامعه الملكيه المغربيه لالعاب قوى الان سوف سوف نقدم بطلين او بطلتين في سباقات السرعه في المقام الاول الهولنديه دافني تشيبيرز جابيل دافني تشيبيرز البطله الهولنديه ايضا فرانسيس فيليس العداء الأمريكية إذا غتلاحظوا شكون هي تشي بيرز لأن تشي بيرز هذه بطلة في السباعي هي في الجهة اليسرى وفي الجهة اليمنى الأمريكية فرانسيس فيليس إذا أول سؤال فور كويشن فور فيليس فرانسيس فوز أفيك فوز أفيك L'une des plus grandes surprises au championnat du monde à Londres 2017, vous avez remporté le 400 mètres. Quel est votre pressentiment que tu vas demain ici au Diamond League à Rabat I'd like to remind that Phyllis Francis, she's world champion in world champion 400 meters and 400 meters four times in London. Phyllis, Phyllis, over to you. You were a real great surprise in London in 2017. You won 400 meters. Tomorrow, you will be participating in Rabat. How did you find the welcome here, the stadium also? What was your feeling about that? Uh, this is my first time in Morocco, and uh, I must say the hospitality is phenomenal. 
Um, so far, I've enjoyed myself in the country. Uh, I had my first Moroccan tea yesterday, last night. That was really tasty, and I look forward to compete and what's, what's to come. إذن إلا كان شي سؤال بالنسبة للأداء والبطل الأولمبي. If you have any question for Francis. our great champion Francis Phyllis, dear journalist, if you have any question for her. أنا أعطي سؤال. I'd like to address a question now to the Dutch, our Dutch champion, Daphne Chippers. We remembered her in Marrakesh in the Continent uh, Cup in 2014 when she won uh, 200 meters and she also made a good achievement in Oslo last Thursday in 200 meters. She's a specialist in long jump in, uh, in the seventh event. Uh, uh, demonstration and she's one of the great champions worldwide. Daphne Chippers, your strength actually in this specialization in decathlon, in long uh, jump and also in sprint. I don't know exactly what the question is, but I did the heptathlon before, so um, I'm now a, a real sprinter. I'm doing the 100 and 200 meters and I was really happy with the Oslo last Thursday and yeah, I'm excited to run here. It's my first time in Rabat, and um, yeah, I'm excited. Thank you. Can she? Can she? Uh, Any questions for our two champions with regard to sprint? Actually, this is the best uh, event we've had, and we've been following uh, Dutch Daphne Chippers and also the American champion Francis Phillips. Any question? Uh, All right, tweet. The national TV channel. My question addressed to the two champions. Uh, we know the, the atmosphere in Rabat and also the track and the impact and the performance of the both champions. This event comes halfway through the, this diamond event in the year where we have the world champions. Uh, is that your top preparation or is it an event to go through an event to get to Brussels, where you have one week before uh, the Doha World Championships. And also with regard to preparation and the timing, what would you say about that? I think it's a long year, but um, we start the, the competition is over now. Like, um, it's a build up in, into the World Championships. And of course, it's really nice to, to run with good weather. and. I think it's really good over here, so I'm happy with that. So I hope to make some progress in the whole year and step by step run a little bit faster and faster. So it's a long year, but yeah, with a couple of breaks and a couple of training blocks, it's, uh, I think we will be okay. Yeah, I think this meet is definitely beneficial for uh, my progression for the season. Um, I'm just more focused on just chipping away my time and getting faster so I can be ready for world championships in Doha, Qatar. Thank you. Baqi. Uh, welcome, Ahmed Baqi, journalist at Al Maribia. There definitely was a pre two medals uh, champion You got the two medals in World Championship 2015, 2017, and you had very good performance in all the game in Belgium. This Mohamed Six meeting, this is, is this a good preparation for World Championship with a good record 11:38? Thank you. That was not my best competition, but it was my first one. It was more like a training, but I did a good races last week. So I ran 11.06 in, uh, in the Netherlands. So I'm happy with that and it's a progress. So I missed a couple of weeks of training because of injury. So I'm happy with that progress in 11.06. It's, it's okay, it's pretty, pretty good for now. And I hope to run tomorrow a good race with nice weather <laughs> and hopeful a little bit wind. Like we will see. Uh, I have a question for Phyllis uh, Francis. 
اديتي واحد السباق جدا رائع في بطوله العالم 2017 كيف تستي بهذا السباق ما كانش I had a good support team behind me, and a lot of people believed in me, and also I believed in myself. So uh, it's just a matter of executing the race plan and just focusing and not worrying about who's in the race. Just go out there and compete. And I actually surprised myself. So you are a great uh, athlete. Yeah, thank you. So uh, another question, Saidi. Question, Saidi. Yahya Saidi. Magazine Perspective. Mais magazine Perspective. Uh, magazine. I just would like. Uh, 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 I'd like to know whether you, your concern, what's your concern actually? Is it just to get the first position? To write first? Or are we going to see a very fast run? And could you? أن يكون أقل من خمسين. And could we achieve less than fifty seconds here? Could we see fifty seconds and below? Um, I really try not to focus on time because that can mentally mess you up. I'm more so about execution. So, um, you know, I might surprise myself. You know, I'm I'm in really good shape. I. Got a lot of good feedback from my coach, so I'm excited for tomorrow, and I'm excited to put on a show for everyone. Another question for you. My name is Sadiq Shaban from Kenya. Uh, this one goes to Daphne. Uh, looking at uh, the race tomorrow, your good friend Marie will be there. Um, how important uh, uh, you think it is for Africa to see the two of you going head to head in this important event, which is uh, the only round of the Diamond League in, 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 in Africa. I, th I think it's very important to have different Diamond Leagues in all over the world, so it's very special to have one here. And what I said, it's my first one, and I always like to, to compete with her, and it's always nice to compete with really good athletes, and it's a nice battle for tomorrow, yes. Thank you uh, for uh, Daphne Chippers and uh, Phyllis Francis. Thank you very much. After, 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 after. Alan, ma al majmoua atania. We'll move on to the uh, second uh, group. Jabel al Yunania Katarina Stefanidi. هذه البطلة في القفز بالزنا وأيضا سعودي أزوفيس وصيف بطلة العالم في القفز بالزنا كاتينا ويلكم كاتينا أمامكم اليونانية كاتارينا سيفيدي البطلة في القفز بالزنا وأيضا بجانبها وصيفة بطلة العالم بالنسبة لكاتارينا بالنسبة لكاتارينا هذه بطلة أولمبية في القفز بالزنا في ريو بطلة أولمبية 2016 إذا بطلة العالم في لندن 2017 في القفز بالزنا حتى العلو ديالها كان رقم أربعة ديال الأمطار 91 بطلة أوروبا مرتين في 2016 2018 
سؤال question ton père Georgios un ancien hip sauteur son record c'est 16 mètres premium sprinter et Zoé Varel c'est votre mère and Zoé Varel who is your mother cette jeune vous avez donné cette champion don't you see that the this is a DNA this DNA has given you the championship you know premium character your brother and mother my father actually triple jumped he was not a sprinter my mom was a sprinter she she did the 400 I think I got none of that talent but yeah I think I think there's definitely a little bit in the DNA I think the there's a lot of nurture uh, there where from a very young age we would go to the beach and my dad would make me run on the sand or long jump on the sand and it would not just all be for f fun, it would also be very competitive. We would measure how far can I stand in long jump. So I think there, there's definitely genetics, uh, but there's also nurture. I grew up in a family that cared about sports and cared about track and field and pushed me towards it. And then I think there's always luck involved in the fact that they pushed me towards pole vault and no triple jump or the 400. And I think I, I was pretty fast. I could have maybe been a pretty decent athlete in, I don't know, maybe the hurdles or the triple, but I don't think I could have been world champion in, and Olympic champion in anything other than pole vault. <laughs> السؤال ديالك قد لي بين الاب ديالك والام ديالك كلهم ابطال في القفز العالي واش هاد لو جين هو اللي عطاها هاد التميز باش تكون ابطال سؤال لي اليوناني ستيفان ليفي باقي vous avez Welcome tout pris, des me the gold medal in the Olympic gold Games, the world champion, world champion, the world indoor and the Europe, uh, European championship. Il vous reste uh, le Diamond League. Uh, C'est votre ambition uh, cette année. It's your ambition this year. Your Is that your ambition this year? year? Is that your ambition this year to get this title too? Um, the gentleman asked in French, then switched to English. Sorry. Yes, this happened. Um, he did switch. So. It was the question if the Diamond League is my goal this year? Yes. Um, you know, yes, but I'm, I'm, I, th I would say that after defending my t European title last year, I, I mean, obviously in terms of priorities, the number one goal is to defend my world title uh, in Doha at the end of uh, September. But this year, for the first time, the Diamond League final comes before the big championship. So in terms of chronological order, yes, I, I would like to defend the, the Diamond League uh, title or be Diamond League champion again. But in terms of priorities, obviously, I want to be world champion in September. Uh, no special Stephanie question D. for Stephanie D. And she's Saudi Alphix. She is actually ranked second. Any question for her? Saidi. Saidi. My question to Katharina. We'd like to know if بطبيعة الحال هي التي تتوفر على الرقم القياسي المتقربة 4 أمتار و 75 أريد أن أعرف هل هي جد متحمسة لتحقيق رقم قياسها الشخصي وبالتالي بطبيعة الحال غادي يكون رقم قياسي جديد في المؤتمر I have the meeting record. For this edition. Oh. For this edition. Oh, okay. For this edition. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess yes, because back in 2016 we jumped 75. Nicole, Nicole, I think Nicole Booklet also might have the meeting record. I think we both jumped for 75. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's a good goal. Uh, the meeting record. I think, I think we have a very good field, and I think if the wind allows it because that's all I can remember from three years ago. I can remember it being very windy. Uh, I think if the wind allows it, we can have maybe multiple girls break the meeting record. Uh, I think we can even 
maybe get to the world lead this year, that's 491. Une question pour notre confrère là-bas. Question for our colleague over there. Uh, question for Sandy. Am I allowed to ask Sandy a question? Mike Rowbottom here for the I IAAF. Sandy, two questions. How important was it for you to have a world title to your name as you go forward? And on a different topic, uh, how did you sort out your unfortunate travel events? <laughs> Uh, so, World Indoor Championships, um, I think the track and field community realizes that there is not as much weight put on the indoor season, um, but to me that win meant so much uh, because it was, I had to jump 495 to win World Indoor Championships last season, and I was able to do so after taking some time off because of a back injury and I'd been through so much. And so to me, that meant the world to be able to win World Indoors in 2018. And um, it gave me a lot of confidence going forward, knowing what I am capable of, even if the path is bumpy. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this season. And then, um, yes, I had some travel difficulty <laughs> uh, getting here. My poles were um, not accepted in the Rome airport, but this is something that pole vaulters have always had to deal with. <laughs> it's a normal, um, but I ended up having uh, to miss my competition in Turku, and I decided to stay in Rieti in Italy and train for three days before coming here. So I feel really good. وبالاشاره فساندي من هذه وصفات بطل العالم من الاعدادات ستيفاني دي Back in 2005 and she won the world title for uh, for so she was welcome and now we're going to Japan move on and I'm going to call upon two names in, in sprint البطل الاولمبي الجامايكي عمر ماكلويد ماكلوري وايضا سيرغي شوبينكوف هذا بلاتو جميل جدا ديال السرعه this is top sprint and for sure the European, European viewers in Europe, in the US, in the US, in Asia will certainly be following this race between our two great champions and Shabinkov also. The two of them are top runners. My first question to Omar. You are an Olympic champion in the latest event in Rio de Janeiro. You are also world champion in London 2017 and world champion indoors in 60 meters. And in Diamond in Shanghai Diamond event, you ranked first with good time. Omar. هذا اسم عربي. That's an Arab. Omar. Sounds Arab. شنو هو؟ Name. كيف فوتو بارتيسيبون؟ What's your feeling? The feeling about your participation here in Champion Jamaican qui ont déjà participé. In Morocco. Yes, first of all, um, good evening. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm very grateful to be here. Um, very grateful for the opportunity to come back here. And well, I've, this is my first time here, but to you know, be in the Diamond League and to compete and do what I love and to be among all these great athletes. You have a beautiful smile, Sandy. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's like I said, I'm very grateful and I'm very happy that I'm here. I'm really looking forward to going out there and, you know, putting up a good competition with Sergey as always. We always bring out the best in each other and, you know, I'm just looking to go out there and compete fast, compete and run fast. Can she ask Omar Macleod? Any question for Omar? A question uh, for Omar uh, and also for Sergey. How, how difficult will it be to spread yourself along a very long season? 
the, some of the lady athletes have already answered this, but with the World Championships so far away, it takes some organising. Are, uh, are you both confident that you've, you've got it all mapped out this year? Yes, it's, it's, it's going to be very hard, um, but I do trust my coaches and I trust my team you know, to prepare me in the best way possible. You know, we're taking it on one meet at a time, and you know, we're trying to peak just one time this year, and that's for the World Championship. So, you know, we're just skimming through the meets. You know, we need races to, and you know, they need competition and jumps to definitely, you know, stay tip, in tip-top shape. So, we're just going to be very smart and just take it, like I said, one meet at a time, and then hopefully we'll just peak at Worlds. That's really the only goal. Not even for trials. We're just trying to peak one time this year. Well, I. Agree and on, on many points of what uh, Omar has said. Uh, I have my season planned uh, so far also, and uh, my coach. I also believe he does know what he uh, what he needs to do to bring me to the World Championships in my best shape possible. And of course, uh, we had a lot of experience from my previous season, and um, I know how many uh, competitions I need to participate in. Uh, I need to know how much uh, work has uh, I need to be to have to be done, and of course I also would like to compete uh, with the best guys possible in the world. So I'm glad we ha I have Omar here, and uh, I'll, I'll see. It's going to be a long season, but it's going to be interesting. For you, you have two uh, champions. Uh, so we have the last question here, Twizzler. We can move on to the next group, long jumps. I think if they stay like this, I might just well leave my place here. We're getting too many. It's good, welcome. This is our South African champion. He is world champion in London, 2015. Logo Uvo Mayonga. He ranked second twice. He holds uh, an African record. And in the world ranking, Mayonga ranks first in long jump. Now I'd like to call upon Juan Miguel Chivaria from Cuba. And also Jeff Anderson. Jeff Henderson. Question. You know what? I'll leave this place. Luvo Mayonga is the one in blue. This is a world champion in London and also in Rio de Janeiro. Mayonga. You are African and we love Africans. <laughs> What's your feeling as you are participating in, participating in this Mohammed VI athletics meeting? First time being here, so I know it's going to be kind of fun to be here, and uh, the weather's going to be great. The past competition for me has been raining and cold, so this year should be fun for me, and especially the other competitors, so it should be a lot of fun for all of us. So, Ali uh, Mayonga. Any questions for Mayonga? Okay, our Kenyan journalist here. Mayonga. Uh, Good to see you again, and uh, I'm glad you didn't break my camera yesterday. <laughs> Uh, Luvo, again, Zanzi Nation will be looking back and say he's one of us, he's at home, he's in Africa. Uh, what are we looking forward to tomorrow? Uh, the Rainbow Nation is looking for something to bring everybody up, Luvo. Are you going to do what you have done all this time to, tomorrow? Uh, I'm in African soil and I feel like at home, so I'll be um, doing my best and um, just want to have fun tomorrow, just want to give back to Africa and just want to make sure that I raise an African flag so high. So, Al Akhar Li Mayonga. Question for Mayonga? Now we move on to our Cuban champion, indoor champion. He ranks third in long jump. So, question to our Cuban champion, Ichivaria. 
Okay, I have a question. Mr. Echivaria, you are considered by so many as a real uh, person who might potential winner of the world uh, champion and breaking the record. Can you do that? I think it's very important for us to make the best we can do. I really worked hard and I've been trying to uh, win the record and I'll try to break that record. I'll try to do the best I can do and to stretch my abilities to the limit. Good result, but he said that even all the jumpers here can uh, can make a, a good result. He's working hard and uh, he's happy to be there. And now the most important thing is to to work hard and make a good result in each race. I'm not thinking about the world record now. So I'll say the. أريد فقط just would like to point out that long distance is world and Olympic uh, event here in this international meeting. Can we say that this, that tomorrow, this event will achieve the best timing? No, I didn't say the world record. No, I said the best timing, the best timing for the year. So, and then possibly breaking the record held by Yahya Moroccan Yahya Berrabah. Could you please repeat the question because he's translated it not here very well, the question. I said that long jump scheduled in this international event is world event. So tomorrow, with various participants, is that going to be an opportunity for us to hope to see the best world timing for the year? And consequently, we might see the world, the record here of this event broken. You know that the season this year will be very long and uh, the work has to be uh, very good to, to reach even the world championship in a good shape. So the best moment to, to jump very well, it will be at the end of July and to reach the the good uh, the good shape even till uh, till Doha, but I'm okay even to jump well here in Rabat. For you. Uh, a question for one: um, When you jump 892, but it's wind assisted, is that frustrating or is it exciting? Bueno, eh, 
en todas esas etapas estaba bastante bien. Era final de la etapa invernal, el 8-92 en Cuba, y estaba bastante bien. Esperaba una buena marca, no un resultado tan grande, pero sí una buena marca por encima de los 8-60. Y creo que trabajamos en base a eso, luego hicimos otro trabajo para poder llegar al campeonato mundial de dos en excelentes condiciones. Lástima si hubiese sido con el aire a favor, eh, pero bueno, me dio buenas esperanzas, sé que tengo condiciones y puedo seguir trabajando para tener mejores resultados, eh, alcanzar buenas marcas, o sea, algo así. Uh, I jumped uh, 892. Uh, I didn't expect uh, this type of results at that moment of the season, but I was asked to, to jump 860. It means that uh, my shape was already in a, in a good way, but now I'm working hard and I'm, I'm better than when I jumped 892. Of course, I have to, to keep this shape uh, and better till World Championship in Doha. So I have to work work an hour all the all the season. Uh, Last question for Olympic champion Jeff Anderson from the US. He's the one who won Olympic medal in long jump in Rio de Janeiro and he achieved 8.38 centimeters. Question for our American champion Jeff Henderson. Okay, I'll be asking the first question then. Is there going to be competition between Jeff Henderson and Ichivaria tomorrow in the long jump here in the bat? Question addressed to Jeff Henderson. I think that the competition between me and him is going to be a great competition between all of us. And it's not just, not just me and him, it's just mostly all the comparatives between me, him and Lubo. Um, we never know how we're going to compete at the meet, at the meet because uh, it can go many different ways. Um, that's the way I look at it. I can't really say how I'm going to do or how we, we're going to do. It's, it's the spirit of the moment. It can be any jump. It can be any, any competition. So I don't know how well we're going to do, but I know it's going to be a great competition, especially if it's hot. Uh, so I think it's going to be fun. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Juan Miguel. Now I'll call upon two Moroccan athletes who have actually uh, represented Morocco very duly, and I'll call here upon uh, special champion Rabab Al Arafi and also the great champion Sofian Bakali to join us here. And they'll be taking their place among the world champions and the Olympic champions. Rabab and Sofian. Please join us. Here before you, you have Rabab Al Arafi. You all know her uh, performance, her achievements. She is African champion and Arab champion, Mediterranean uh, champion in Tarragona in 800, 1500. Sofian Bakari, welcome. I have certainly there will be questions for our Moroccan champions. Question, please. Briefly, please. Morning, Mohammed bin Saeed, Radio Plus. Rabab Rafi. I know when you were in school championships, you were quite special. So, what are your impressions? while all Moroccans are waiting for you to make an achievement tomorrow. What are the things you can rely on actually to achieve a special title for Moroccan athletics? Good morning. Tomorrow I'll be participating in 1,500 meters. My objective is to break the Moroccan record and also break my personal record and I hope and we'll certainly have with us world champions including Kansi Pidivava and Hassan Sefa and Jennifer Simpson and I hope we'll make all Moroccans happy and I hope we live up to their expectations. Question. 
Let me start with Rabab, then move on to Sufyan. Okay, questions addressed to Rabab. Rabab, don't you think that your race tomorrow with the best possible runners, including the world record holder, that this is the best opportunity for you to break a very good time and not just national record and for the third time go below four minutes last year actually i had a good personal uh, time and i achieved them i broke them reckon record my time was below four uh, minutes hopefully tomorrow i can even go below this bar my personal that was my personal record and i hope i can break again that record question for sufian the way you ran in uh, doha made Moroccans very hopeful. The people talk about your attempt to break record now with Kenyans and you have that Kenyans are very well experienced in this regard. Do you think that the atmosphere here of Rabat, do you think it can help you actually gain again another achievement? Good morning. For my, for uh, the record, we cannot possibly talk about it. Why other great champions are not with us here? And you have Consist Proto and even Jagger. And I'll do my best and I'll do my utmost to break the the event uh, record. I come close to that. After the meeting of Doha. Uh, you know, I had before that, I had very good preparation in Ifran City. There were some constraints, you know, it was Ramadan month, it was a fast month, it was difficult for us to train, but I think we are fully now prepared for the event, for the meeting. Rabab, you have broken a record in Shanghai on May 18th. Don't, and you had a long trip to China from Shanghai to another championship somewhere else. Don't you think that this will certainly affect you while you are here before the Moroccan spectators who are looking forward to seeing you make good uh, time while you have right next to you uh, the Ethiopian Genesis Tibaba? Well, I had a good uh, event in Shanghai, I won, it was a long trip indeed, and uh, I was tired because of the long trip, that was at the beginning of Ramadan month, and I participated in the second event in Rome, and that certainly affected me, a long, tiring uh, trip, and a month of Ramadan, fasting month. But I had a good time in Shanghai, and that's not an easy thing. And I now am in good condition, and hopefully I'll make some achievements here. Let me recall that Rabab Safi and Yusuf Al-Baqali were part of the uh, team in Denmark, Moroccan team in Denmark. Said. Question to Sufyan Bukhali. You said earlier that attempt to break the record of eight minutes point two seconds. As last year, you made a good time, which is the ten best time for three thousand meters hurdles. Uh, can Sufyan Bakali actually hope for more tomorrow in the race? Hopefully, uh, break the world record. As I said earlier, I'm thinking about the world record, but as I said, it's a bit difficult. While there is not enough competition, you cannot.
not just have the lead runners, you need to have very good competition with other runners with you, but hopefully tomorrow I can do my best and I will change my strategy of running and hopefully tomorrow it will be a fast race and hopefully I can have good timing. Uh, Next question. I followed in the last competition, you had a strong race, but in your style, you always stay last and then you move on to fast running and then you gain first positions and in Shanghai you ran, you ranked first. Could this your tactic? You know, you start to, when you start to wear a bit worried, but then you gain momentum and you move forward. Well, any distance has got its tactics, has got their style, how they can move on in the race. For me, I go on a fast race, for example, in 1,500 meters, I can 1,000 meters very fast, less than uh, 2 minutes 40. If it's too fast, I cannot, I don't have the last sprint. But if I split my energy, uh, for example, I have 2, Two minutes, forty-two minutes, thirty-nine for one thousand meters. I can still have energy to finish. But if I go fast in the beginning, I cannot. I cannot actually bear the last sprint energy. Now we'll take a photo op of our big champion, world champions, and after that, for interviews that will be taken in the mixed zone. For for actually statements for the TV channels. Cameraman, please be quiet. Let's take a photo up for our World and Olympian, Olympian Championship. And interviews, you can have them here in the mixed zone. Thank <laughs> you. 